Hello friends, so great to be with you today. We're going to practice some therapeutic yoga posture, a therapeutic yoga posture. And as always, you're, you know, in your space coming together, bringing the things that work for you. But today you only need just a, a couple items that you probably can easily obtain from your home. I have two blankets, two folded blankets and a large bed pillow. And we're gonna enjoy a supported spinal twist. Um, you can have more props. You can use things in different ways, um, but I just want to share with you this uh, very lovely supported spinal twist that I quite enjoy. If I'm going to pick a therapeutic yoga posture to do, oftentimes it is that one. I'm going to take my blankets. They're already folded. It's nice to just have them kind of readily folded in some, some fashion that works for your space. I'm going to find a long fold. I'm creating a bolster with two folded blankets. I'm going to take the other one. Look at that. Now I have this nice bolster that's um, comprised of two folded blankets. It doesn't really matter which side. Um, of the folded blanket is closest to your body because you're also going to have a large bed pillow on top. Now, as we come into this, you might find that you just like having one of the blankets underneath of you, and that's totally fine. I'm gonna give you another option in case you have a third blanket or you just wanna use one of these blankets as your, um, as your bolster. So to start, we're going to sit next to your blanket or next to your bolster set up. A couple ways that you can have your legs because what we're gonna eventually do is we're gonna turn and lower ourselves down onto this support and it's super cozy. But a couple different ways that you can have your legs. One is like this, with uh, kind of the knee of one of your upper leg, the instep of your lower leg. This can be a lot for many of us, maybe a little too much. And so another option is to take a blanket, hold it lengthwise and place it between your knees, shins and ankles and you're gonna get a little less intensity through your um, QL quadratus lumborum and, uh, and through your back. It might be a little bit easier on your hip and your back. So that's just an option for you. I kind of like it like this myself. So, hey, let's just go ahead and do it. You're gonna lift yourself up and slowly lower ah, yourself down. You want your face facing the same direction as your knees. You can remove glasses, adjust yourself, but you definitely want your arms and hands to be relaxed. And as soon as you come into this posture, you might just feel a definite release and just feel very supported. And so as you arrive, you can take a few breaths, just noticing your breath, touching base with it. And as you breathe, you can breathe a little bit more into your back body, into the backs of your lungs. This is a great posture for accessing the backs of your lungs, which are larger and um, your lungs are more oriented towards the back of your body as well so I'm breathing into the backs of your lungs and with each exhale allowing yourself to kind of release a little more forward into the support beneath you this is uh, very good for stretching the muscles that support your spine Twists are helpful for spinal health and also um, twists milk our abdominal organs. So you're kind of getting a squeeze on your abdominal organs. 
depending upon how you have your legs you might be feeling a stretch through your side body as well letting your eyes close letting your jaw relax softening letting your eyes be nice and soft and Maybe even finding a gentle smile, smiling into your experience. can be in a posture like this for for several minutes the thing that you can do is set a timer for maybe five or seven minutes and do one side and, and then five or seven minutes for the other side and it's also nice to have little stretches in between and, and so I'm going to start to deepen your breath to bring your hands under your shoulders and slowly lift yourself up, keep your chin kind of tucked as you do. And bring it come through a center. And I'm gonna just let's just widen our legs. Grab my glasses. Well, being a glasses wearer, it's important to remember that um when our glasses are on our faces we we sort of um our nervous system is like all right it's time to do stuff and so when we remove our glasses it really encourages our nervous system to say all right we can relax a little now i'm going to take this bolster setup and bring it here um, right in front of me and i'm going to make some circles now this is a nice way to kind of stretch between sides, especially if you have issues being on your knees. Um, we can do other stretches. We can always incorporate different things, some cats and cows or happy puppies if you're if you're fine being uh, in tabletop kind of putting weight on your wrists and your knees but if not or even if you are it can feel nice to find stretches this way you might even kind of let yourself linger forward you can start to make your circles in the other direction that can feel nice too and you're getting a stretch along the back of each leg stretching your knees Mm, let's come back up and uh, let's do some lateral stretches here reaching one arm over and then the other arm now i'm 
gentle stretches. Just reach it over. Oh, get into the space between your shoulder blades. Underneath your shoulder blade, maybe getting into oh, into your armpit a little and your side ribs. <laughs> Just incorporating some gentle yoga between the side. come back to center. There's some seated cats and cows. I think I'll go ahead and I'm just going to scooch my bolster over to the other side because where we'll end up next. I'm going to help my knees to bend to um, cross my legs. If crossing your legs doesn't work for you. You could have one leg extended, whatever kind of seat works for you. And a little seated cat and cow rolling forward and opening up. always make whatever moves feel good to you it's you know that's what's wonderful is is uh, something that I have really found benefit in in my practice is just understanding myself a little better and what feels good to me and this is transcends yoga transcends uh, postures and kind of gets deeper into maybe some of the other parts of yoga that are actually more important like breathing and Kind of quieting your mind, noticing the modifications of your mind, kind of noticing your thoughts, and kind of becoming more of an observer. Now we're going to switch sides. So I've got my bolster here right up against my hips. You can make any adjustments with it that I need to, remove the cat hair, stuff like that. And you can have one knee in your foot, that variation. Woo! gives you a little bit more of a stretch through your side or maybe you have a blanket between your knees shins and ankles and get yourself twisty and begin to lower down i'm gonna remove my headphone from my ear so i can relax a little more and i hope you're able to get yourself comfortable on this side and just let your body release into the support beneath you. Remove your glasses. <laughs>
to deepen your breath. Bring your hands under your shoulders and start to push your way up to a seat in your chin tuck. You come to the very top. I like to have a little height under my hips and maybe you take a blanket and you bring it under your hips <sighs> and rock a little from side to side from front to back finding a tall spine bring a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly and feel the warmth and gentle pressure of your hands your eyes soften, feel your breath and your heartbeat, and offer yourself a smile, smiling into your experience, kindness, and compassion, peace, for your practice today and know that every little bit is cumulative the time you spend on yourself doesn't have to be huge amounts of time bringing your hands to your body taking a deep breath letting it go you feel overstimulated or you're in a transition period in your day finding a posture like our supported supported twist can be a really lovely way to kind of regroup and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon bye bye, -bye.